Good morning, Mustangs. Thank you for joining us. It's Wednesday, September 7th, and I'm Jose Salinas. In the headlines, the Mustang Sports Association is back in business. Wednesday at work with Mr. Hudgings. And save the day for Fall Sports Senior Night. But first, it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Now for our top story. The Mustang Sports Association is back in the game with their fundraising efforts. Under new leadership, after four years, one thing remains the same, chicken biscuits. MSA, or the Mustang Sports Association, is the only student fundraising group on campus that reinvests its earnings back into FSA for sports funding. Back in 2018, a group of four freshman students started selling Chick-fil-A breakfast options on campus. In their first year, they raised over $1,000. All proceeds went towards purchasing soccer goals and funding portions of the athletic banquet for student athletes. While they started with the goal of improving FSA soccer facilities, it soon went beyond that. They evolved into a group that encompassed the entire sports program at FSA. These spectacular students took the initiative to contact Chick-fil-A and commence a partnership that grew to serve all sporting activities at FSA. By selling chicken biscuits for one day a week, they were able to raise over $3,000 towards the end of their sophomore year. Unfortunately, COVID-19 was responsible for suspending all activities, but the group did not stop. They changed their initiative to continue giving back by supporting student health. As students started coming back to campus, the group purchased the first ping pong table and donated it as a mental break tool and stress reliever for students and staff returning to campus post-COVID-19 restrictions. MSA, this year, is under new leadership as the organization has been handed over to a new team. The plan is the same, continuing fundraising efforts to support the athletic banquet and other sporting needs at FSA. Starting next Friday, September 16th, you can once again enjoy chicken biscuits as the start of your day on campus. A plan is currently in the works to offer Chick-fil-A sandwiches at volleyball and basketball home games. The team is currently working on its marketing plan and advertising, but Mustang News will keep you posted as sales unfold and rise. For Mustang News, I am Sanaa Jane. He is a critical part of the high school support team, and believe it or not, he's quite funny. Mustang News Wednesday at Work meets up with none other than Mr. Chris Hutchings. Here's Mustang News reporter Varun Sayana with a closer look. He joined the FSA team mid last academic year and it has definitely been for the better. Mr. Chris Hutchings did not hesitate to jump into his role with the high school students and offer them much needed staff support as well. You know, I do a number of things. You know, it's basically my job to manage and supervise uh, the high school hangout area. Also make sure that you guys go to class, which is good. You'll see me um, go out and make sure that you're attending class on time when you're supposed to. Mr. Hutchings stresses the importance of not only academics, but also building relationships and connecting with others. You know, focus on academics. That's very important. Uh, but as far as the students here at FSA, what I've seen is I think that Socially, it's also very important to be able to interact with people. Yes, focus on your books, but you, you need to build, learn how to build relationships. Learn how to uh, you know, uh, conduct yourself in a business meeting. But at the same time, you want to be able to talk with a group of friends if you're at a birthday party. All those things are important. Life skills that you need. In addition to his supervisory role, he's always ready to lend a listening ear and helping hand to students, emphasizing you treat others how you would like to be treated. For Mustang News, I'm Bruin Sion. As we shift the spotlight to FSA's core values, which spells I care, we take a look at the C, which stands for curiosity. Curiosity encourages openness to innovative ideas and perspectives and fuels collaboration, exploration, and deeper learning and understanding. For the month of September, Mustang News will share with you, our viewers, different takes on curiosity. In keeping with our core value of curiosity, we share a quote of the day from Albert Einstein, an engineer famous for many of his discoveries. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. It's time to celebrate FSA's fall senior athletes in varsity volleyball and flag football. Set for September 20th, class of 2023 Mustangs will be celebrated for their contributions. 
Here's Mustang News reporter Khalil Lindo with more information about this event and the seniors themselves. After saying our farewells to the seniors of FSA's class of 2022, we now welcome in the new class of 2023 for the fall sports. FSA's volleyball season is already starting off strong, highlighting two of our great seniors, Ryan Machima and Shrein Thuppel. But for the first time, FSA now has its own flag football team, highlighting our two seniors, Rakim Jefferson and Asher McCory. Come support our seniors on September 20th and give them a great year. From Mustang News, I am Kalo Lindo. Now for a look at the weather. Fall is slowly but surely approaching. Keep an eye out for some scattered showers as today's forecast shows cloudy with a chance of rain. But even with the possibility of increased precipitation, expect high temperatures in the low 80s with lows in the low 70s. On Thursday, expect a cloudy sky and a chance of rain with high temperatures in the low 80s and low temperatures in the high 60s. Moving on to a highlight for our viewers, the joke of the day. What did the policeman say to his belly button? You're under a vest. In this episode, Mustang Matters gives a call out to college prep sessions for high schoolers. FSA freshmen got a visit from an admissions representative from Worcester Polytechnic Institute. College prep focuses on college readiness for students and will include a wide range of activities and presentations. Before we close this episode of Mustang News, there are some important reminders we must share. If you are feeling sick, stay home. Check COVID updates on the FSA website and please review FSA's protocol. Remember, the first person you need to get in touch with if you are experiencing symptoms or if you had a positive test is a school nurse. Attendance issues and doctor's notes should be sent to attendance at FultonScienceAcademy.org. And Mustangs, remember you should always be in the correct uniform unless it is a dress down or a spirit day. Stay safe and healthy Mustangs and don't forget to subscribe to FSA's YouTube channel. I'm Jose Salinas, reminding you that when we, you, and I care, we are always hashtag stronger together. Yeah.